Connecting some of the leading bear and transportation experts, Parks Canada and Canadian Pacific are on the hunt to reduce the number of bear deaths caused by trains. Railway mortality is the leading cause of death for grizzly bears in the Mountain National Parks. Uh, a lot of the other issues, uh, primarily food and garbage condition bears uh, and highway mortality have been mitigated through uh, both you know, bear-proof garbage bins, which we did years and years ago, and more recently, um, the fencing and the crossing structures on the Trans-Canada Highway. So we've established that there's a couple of mitigative strategies we can use to deter bears from both util utilizing the right-of-way as an escape path and uh, a thoroughfare and to stop them at, uh, at fence ends. So one of those is the pegboard solution. So that's uh, just to make the bears um, get off the track as they're running um, in front of a, potentially in front of a train. The other one that we've, we've uh, demonstrated today or got as a demonstration is uh, to close off uh, fence ends, you need something equivalent to a cattle guard. The technology we're looking at is basically an electric fence laid flat on the track. If the bear or animal steps on it, they will be deterred by the electric shock they receive. Living labs have been created to monitor grizzly behavior and activity near the tracks. The living lab is a, is a term that's been applied to this project. Um, it's not specifically uh, you know, 200 meters of track. The living laboratory will be this, this um, infrastructure corridor through Banff and Yoho National Park. We'll set up different um, pilot projects in areas and then try to measure the effectiveness of them by watching the behavior of the bears. So we need to understand how they're using their time on the landscape once we've done a manipulation, whether that's changing the vegetation or putting in noise makers or, or whatever other pilots like this. We'll use uh, fixed cameras and technologies like radio collars, satellite radio collars, to understand how the bears are responding to those changes. So in that way, this railway becomes a living laboratory. There's, there's been a traditional challenge, and it's been there for several decades, and I would say in terms of grizzly bear management and population, and I think we've shown international leadership by reducing significantly wildlife mortality, and it's often, in all cases, based on solid science. So I think we're working with the science community to find the solutions. Uh, there's always some realities and some challenges within this type of environment. But if I look at within Parscanda, for example, we've uh, just protected in Nahani National Park, 25,000 square kilometer, that's home to 500 grizzlies. So there's key strategies and key actions that are being taken by Parscanda. Here in uh, the mountain parks, uh, again, we have some of the best international leaders in terms of grizzly bear management within the agency. So. I think we've been quite successful. There's always challenges, but I think we're by uh, involving the science community, we find the solutions. The, the right way to go, in my view, is to bring the best minds together, let them provide us with the scientific evidence or scientific perspectives, hypotheses as to what might be better solutions, and then systematically with their, with their guidance and coaching, uh, work our way through whatever those solutions might be. Um, we all have a sense of urgency. Uh, we've had... Uh, uh, an enormous amount of activity over the last 10 years, but we're also at a point in time, perhaps a tipping point, a turning point, where we think we can do a step function improvement with uh, now bringing all these minds to bear on these issues. For Shaw TV, I'm Alana Nolan.